Hey everyone, this is Kat with Wandering Soup, and today I will be uh, doing a quick vlog on moving to Vietnam. This is a part of our series as a combination of vlogs and vlogs um, discussing moving to different countries. The first one we did can be found at wanderingsoup.com and it's about relocating to Thailand. Now these blogs are going to be just beginner information for you, and vlogs of course, I'm sorry, are going to be just beginner information for you to start your journey and process on where you want to go. Um, we're going to talk about land ownership, business ownership, citizenship, medical, education, and whether or not it's LGBTQI friendly, because of course that's what we are. So again, this is going to be quick, down and dirty. Um, you can find out more information on the website at www.wonderingsoup.com. Um, let's start out first with citizenship. In Vietnam, can it be accomplished? And the answer to that is yes, it can be. Quite simple. Um, you can, you, it's going to take a few years. It won't be an instant process. So if, you, if that's where you want to go, the first thing you want to do is apply for your permanent resident card and do whatever it takes to do, get that. Again, that's a permanent resident card. You'll need to hold that for a minimum of five years as of today before you're allowed citizenship. So keep that thought process in mind that it's five years once you get the permanent resident card. Um, next is business ownership and land ownership. We're going to combine those two a little bit. You can't own a business in Vietnam. The laws are complex and the process can be complicated, but it definitely can be done. And as far as land, you cannot own land in Vietnam, but citizens can't own land in Vietnam. The people of Vietnam can't own land there. It is owned by the state or the country itself or the people. So, but you can lease it for up to 50 years. Um, so you can buy a house and build a house on that land and the house is yours, but the land is leased. Keep that in mind if you're thinking about generational wealth building uh, and bequeathing something so, to someone. So in 50 years, your kids or your grandkids may have to renew that lease so they can still live in that home that you built or that you purchased. Uh, let's move quickly into medical. Vietnam is, of course, uh, a growing country and medical is always a, a thought process when it comes to expats no matter what age you are. Uh, medical in Vietnam is if and am. If you have health insurance, it's good because you can go to a public, I mean, a private hospital and receive quality care. If you do not, you will be going to a public hospital and you will receive the care that a public hospital grants you. Uh, very similar to one in the United States <clears throat> where it isn't that great. So you want a health insurance, you want to factor that into your budget at all times. Um, especially living in a foreign country, you want to do that any way you want to have health insurance. So let's just put that on the mark on the list of must-haves. Um, if you have kids, education is a must-have. Um, and education is relatively free up to a certain age. You will have to pay for supplies, um, uniforms and things of that nature, books. But at a certain age, you're going to have to pay for it. Uh, and if you want to ensure that your kids have a quality education, then you probably got to pay for it from get go. So factor that into your budget, unless you homeschool. Um, and homeschooling is not for everyone, so keep that in mind. Uh, also, the school system in Vietnam is a little bit different than the American school system in, in the sense that kids are expected to sit, still, maintain, and learn. Uh, there are some schools that are opening more and leaning towards a more uh, American style of learning, uh, where you know you jump on a couple of subjects is more um, talkative and learning and interactive. Keep that in mind. And last but not least is LGBTQI friendly. Um, Vietnam does not offer marriage equality as of today. Uh, it does, however, not have any anti-gay laws, and in fact. In 2015, in January of that year, uh, the law on marriage and family came into effect, outlawing the ban on gay weddings. Um, most residents couldn't be in the closet, though. And um, 
public displays of affection are frowned upon. So, what does that mean? It means it's going to feel like America in the 90s. That's what I think. Um, you can do, live your life um, without any problems. But, occasionally there may be one. Uh, I didn't get into visas here. Um, and the reasons why we did not permanently relocate to Vietnam. Um, but just, you know, there are reasons. But we did talk, do a down and dirty blog on thesis, the process, the cost, and that can also be found at wanderingsoup.com. Uh, if you go to our blog section and you look up Living Abroad Vietnam, and you can find out all the information on thesis and what's required just to start the process. Now, I've said relocating and moving to Vietnam, but please go to Vietnam first. Make sure this is where you want to go and where you want to spend the next few years of your life, at least. It's a great country. Uh, it is slightly different than some of the other countries that we've visited uh, in Southeast Asia. Uh, the language barrier is a little bit more here. Uh, English is not everywhere, though it is in quite a few places, like the malls and things of that nature. But um, it's a little bit different, I will say that much. It's, um, we're in Hanoi, and it's been interesting um, so far. But again, we're here doing the COVID-19, so who knows what real life is like here. People tend to love it. Um, Da Nang is beautiful. Ho Chi Minh City, uh, aka Saigon, is hectic as all get out. Um, and Hanoi, which is the capital, it's a little quiet to me, but that may be where we're located as well. So. Take a look at all of those cities, and of course, there are smaller cities. Now, with smaller cities, there are going to be challenges. Uh, you're looking at medical and education, as well as if you want to own a business in that area, will it be supported? So, consider all of that when you're trying to move abroad, and hopefully, this information will start you on the process. Again, I am Kat, and this is Wandering Soup. Peace and love.